Hello people, welcome back to Dark Souls No Death's Run. Azeroth and here, your quite incompetent bumbling guide through the world of Dark Souls. We're gonna start off straight away by going up the ladder we kicked down last episode. Now, I've been debating with myself whether to go through the Sunlight Altar route or to go under the bridge. I think I'm gonna go under the bridge, it just seems safer. Like, the Hellkite Drake is... Even even including the Bed of Chaos, I'd say that the Drake is one of the most unpredictable enemies in the game. Purely because of his massive fire pillar attack that can either do between 10% and like seemingly 500% of your total health. Now this guy here is always going to be an ass unless he decides to turn your back. It would help if I actually took advantage of that though, wouldn't it? Now, before I continue with like talking about the game, I just want to say something. You know what one of the most amazing things to get while you're in the middle of a no deaths run? Yeah, it turns out they're actually doing something down the road from me that's causing us to lose power, like, every 30 minutes or so. Now, the power went out just a couple of minutes ago, so... And it's just come back, so it should be alright for a bit. But I'm really hoping it doesn't get in the way of this run. Because, you know, I'm actually enjoying this, and I don't want to lose all of this. Also, it's like... There are two things that there are two reasons that this is actually going to really screw me over. It's actually really hot. And for one thing, like my computer is very poorly heated anyway. So hopefully it doesn't like cause my own computer to overheat and shut down. But also, this is actually Britain, so I'm hoping all of my luck hasn't been used up trying to get a warm day in this place. Oh my god, I don't know what's up with all of these frames. I don't know, if anyone's got anything that can help, then just let me know. But we're going to come up on the Armoured Boar here, and considering uh, all things considered, the luck and the power cuts and things, I don't seem to be having a very lucky day, so hopefully I don't just die, like, right here. Now, I'm not a fan of going around this, going around all of, like, the dredglings and up on, the, up on that bit over there with the boulder knights, so I'm just going to try and run under the uh, portcullis there. Because that seems to be just the easiest way to do this part, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna handicap myself, honestly. That would just be stupid, considering. Come on, shut the gate. Come on. Ah, gonna have to deal with three of these guys. Shouldn't be too bad. They're just hollows. That's one backstab. One backstab doesn't actually kill these guys because I've got barely any dex investments at the moment. But it shouldn't be too bad. I've just got to take this really carefully because these guys can still kill me in like three hits. As far as I... Oh, there we go, that's one hit. And it took me down to half health. The blacksmith's just up ahead. I might... I'm going to grab a ton of uh, Titanite shards off of him, honestly. Just to get some upgrades. I may actually use the Pyromancy Flame here. I think I may have just uh, aggroed the Boulder Knight up ahead. But I'm not sure. I feel as though I would have. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to use Pyromancy Flame here or just die. Yeah, and I don't want to do either, but one's far more preferable than the other. Pyromancy Flame, you're all the way down the bottom, I know that much. There we go, put the shield back up. Oh, Jesus, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. I'm not going to die this early into my run. Like, I'm not dying before the gargoyles. It's just, I'm not doing that. I might have to go quiet here and just concentrate for a little bit. Okay, I think I might be, okay, be alright. As long as I don't mess up on this last guy. because I, Okay, he's doing an attack that's easy to get behind. And backstab. Wow! <laughs> I, I really do apologise for using Pyromancy Flame there, but, you know, it was kind of necessary. I didn't really have much of a choice. Then we get the basement key. I didn't actually miss it on this run, which is good. I am still going to pick up all the stuff, like the Halberd. I'm never going to use it. I just like picking things up. Like, call me a hoarder, if you will, but I still enjoy picking everything up. 
And then we see the Baronique Knight over there. We're going to go around him for the time being. We're just going to sneak up on this Balder Knight over here. Hopefully I didn't already aggro him. Wait, from Swag Sword runs, I've already gotten used to like sneaking up on this guy. And it's really easy to backstab him. And... Here we go. Try and get away from him. Then do... Ooh. Got some skills. No, you don't. Oh, apparently he does, because I can't actually aim a jump attack. Man, I can't wait to get the scimitar upgraded, and I'll actually start doing damage. I might just run away from this guy. Oh, wait, never mind. I might get him here. There we go. Oh, jeez. Okay, apparently when I'm losing frames, I can't actually attack. That's interesting. I'll have to take that into account for future. The problem with using the scimitar, however, is that I don't actually get a kick anymore. I just get, like, that thing. It's not the most useful, like, attack in the world, but it has some applications. Like, if I want to get away from the enemy really quickly, then I can get away from them while still doing some damage. And it can also lure these guys into using their Estus flasks. Here we go, I've got these guys down. A uh, thousand... That's, I think I'm going to have enough souls to upgrade, like, my scimitar to plus one. I'd really prefer something better, but I don't really have much of a choice. Unless I want to farm souls, which I'm not going to do because that's boring. I know the Baronic Knight, I think he always drops a Titanite Shard if he doesn't drop anything else. But I'm not entirely sure on that. There's probably some drop tables somewhere that I could look up, but can't exactly do that in the middle of recording. Unless I want to really annoy people, which I don't really want to do. I'm being really risky with doing jump attacks, but... I don't know. I actually, like, when I am Dark Wraithing here, this crossbow guy, he always seems to kill me, like, when I'm coming back. When I say I'm Dark Wraithing here, I don't mean, like, I'm twinking or anything like that. I just, like, go naked and dual wield, like, the Dragon King's Great Axe and the Stone Great Axe and things like that. And I just kind of screw around dealing two damage to people. But when I forget to unequip those two axes and I'm still naked, you'd be surprised at how quickly those guys can kill you if, you know, you're not actually prepared for them. That's a constant throughout all of Dark Souls, honestly. If you're not prepared for anything. Whoops. If you're not prepared for something, it will kill you. Which is why the last third of the game is probably going to be the most difficult, because I've never actually gone through it. Right, I've done Seath. Uh, wait, no, I haven't done Seath. I've done the Duke's Archives, but not Seath. I've done the Four Kings. I haven't done Bed of Chaos. I haven't done... Yeah, I'll just talk to Andre for a bit while well, I was trying to say. you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of Astora. If you require smithing, then speak to me. I do require smithing. Now, I'm not actually sure. Did I pick him any shards? No. Okay, I'm going to have to buy a shard from him. Yeah, only one upgrade here. Oh well, it's better than nothing. You can always upgrade the scimitar. Go get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Yeah, I don't really want to either. That would really suck. I just realised. Does Andre have? He does. He has a boulder side sword. Why can't he sell me that? I would love that weapon. Oh well. If I happen to get one off of the Boulder Knights, then I'll take it and use it, but I'm not going to spend an extensive amount of time trying to get one. It seems like a waste of time to me. Well, not a waste of time, but it seems like... I don't know, I just don't enjoy farming. It seems really boring. So what I think I'm going to do is... I'm just going to take out these three undead up here. I'm going to go for the Berenique Knights. And then I'm going to see if I... While I'm doing this, I'm going to see if I can remember if there are any shards that I can just pick up. From anywhere, really. Because I don't think I'm going to do so well against the gargoyles with just a plus one scimitar. Honestly. I think I'm going to die if I try that. Oh, Jesus. It's like trying to enhance the epicness of, like, nothing by going in slow-mo. I still have no idea what's causing it. Maybe there's some weird AI path thing that's going on that's causing it. I really... It's times like this when I wished I had my kick. Oh, yes! Oh, that is so helpful. 
Now, actually, there is something I've been wanting to showcase over and over again. It's one of my main reasons for liking the scimitar is its strong attack. If I can just bait this guy into attacking me, I'll show you what it looks like. And just not that, it's just also its follow-up does quite an unexpected amount of damage for being such a quick succession of attacks. Anyway, first time I used it, I was just really surprised. Now, Baronique Knight. This should be interesting. I don't think I've ever died to this guy before, but there's always a first time for everything, isn't there? And with these frame drops, it's going to be... I don't know, some people would consider it easier because all the slow-mo, but a lot of people would consider it to be a bit harder. I personally would consider it to be harder. Just got to wait for an opening. I know you can parry this guy, but I don't, I'm not confident in my abilities to parry, so I'm not even going to attempt it. I'm just going to chip away at him and hope that the frame drops don't kill me. I wonder if... nah. That doesn't work. Hmm, I wonder if he's going to hit me. Doesn't look like it. He's probably going to kill me just like in one hit. Which is why I really have to manage my stamina here. Which is why I'm only doing like 40 damage instead of 60 or 80 because if I do too much, too many swings then he has a very high potential of just swinging at me and killing me. So I'm going to take him outside because there's much more open area. There aren't pillars getting in the way of everything. And even if I were to use my Pyromancy Flame, it wouldn't make much sense. As far as I know, he's highly resistant to fire. It would probably do about the same damage as my Scimitar. I could always check it right now, but if I turn out to be wrong, that I'm going to feel bad for getting in a bunch of cheap damage. I'm thinking of going with, uh, as far as, as far as I can tell, he's wearing the Black Iron set. I was actually thinking of going that for the end of the game, because that's what I used on my first character. It turned out to be pretty good. Like, Black Iron seems to go pretty well with dex builds. Because your equipment, because your, like, your sword, your weapon, is really light, it really does free up some room for heavier equipment. And the Black Iron set seems to be a good balance between uh, defense and weight. I mean, it's only slightly lighter than Havel's, but it does actually have more defense when fully upgraded. I think I might just bait this guy to use his Estus Flask over and over again, because that's the easiest time to hit him. Well, from what I've seen, though, in the AI, it seems to be if you can get them to use their flask, like, once, and you interrupt it, they're not going to use it again so readily. But that's just something that I've noticed. I don't know if that's an actual thing. It could be for all I know, but... Oh, there we go, there's a second flask going out, and he should be dead. There we go. That wasn't too bad, didn't get hit. And did he drop a shard? Ooh, a steel helm. I don't think I've ever used the steel set. How good is it? Well, it sure... <laughs> that sure as hell isn't worth it. That's like, timesing my equip load by five and only getting... Well, I guess the poise is nice. If it doesn't put me into medium roll, then I'll wear it. I feel like it will, though. Yeah, I'm not wearing this. Screw that. What about this? Does this put me in? Does it give me poise? Yeah, it gives me poise. Can I use this? Yes, I can, actually. So, I'm thinking I'm going to go with the Hollow Warrior's helmet for now, just for... Like, three poise, that's not going to... That's not going to protect me against anything, now that I think about it, so... If it has less defense... Uh... I think I'm actually going to use the Tattered Cloth Hood just for the very slight extra defense against the Gargoyle's Fire. It just seems like it makes sense to me, honestly. Now, I'm I am actually 14 minutes in here, so I could end off here, but what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go back to Firelink Shrine well, just to prepare for what I'm going to do in the next episode. But before that, I'm going to reinforce my Scimitar by... Oh, actually, I've got enough shards to upgrade... Well, I've got enough souls and shards to upgrade twice. So I should be able to get to plus three here. No, I did not mean to do that. I haven't decided what I'm going to ascend it to yet. I'm either going to go for Quelag's or Quelag's uh, blade, or I'm just going to go for a straight plus 15. I haven't decided yet. If I'm going pure dex, I would imagine that a straight plus 15 would be better. But I've honestly forgotten if Quelag's Fury Sword has any scaling. I don't think it does. If it doesn't, I'm going to go for a straight plus 15. And maybe I'll go on another character 
and practice with the falchion just to get me used to it on this character. But no promises. If if I can't like remember where the falchion is or I can't get used to it, I'm not going to use it. Because if I use a weapon that I'm not comfortable with, it's never it's not going to end well. I'm just going to get these guys because if they fought, I don't know. I, I'm always like nervous about enemies just following me. But as you can see, that plus that that there, yeah, those upgrades actually did a real number on my damage. Like that success, that succession of strong attacks wouldn't have killed that hollow before, but it seems to be doing it now. Come on, give me the parry. I always like to see that little spin around. I don't know why. It just appeases me. So, I really feel bad for everyone who misses this shortcut. If, in my honest opinion, this is the most useful shortcut in the game, because for a new character, it takes you between the two main places that you really want to be. It takes you between Firelink, which is like your safe haven. It takes you between the Undead Parish for upgrades and... What? Okay, screw that. That does not count. No, it's not that. that no, that, that doesn't count. <laughs> screw you, that does not count. Wait. Like, I made this rule to myself. I forgot to announce it. Glitch deaths, they don't count. Wait, like, seriously, any I don't think anyone would consider that an end of a no deaths run. Seriously, I'd expect that on 60 FPS, but it's probably these frame drops that's doing it, honestly. I don't know why they're happening. Like, I'm I might not record the next episode until I can fix the frame drops. Like, seriously. I might have to record in a lower quality or something, but honestly, these frame drops are starting to actually affect my gameplay. And it's probably not at all fun to watch. Like, it actually does seem to make parrying a bit easier, but... So, all of you who said that that, wouldn't, that would have counted as a kill, I think this might actually be a pretty substantial piece of evidence to say that the frame drops make this hell. I'm just going to end this off here, fix the frames if I can, and then I'll start recording. If it takes a while, it'll take a while, but I'm not dealing with this. It's been Azerothan, your bumbling guide through terrible frames and the world of Dark Souls. I'll see you next time.